Yeah, I'm looking at your website, and uh, I was hoping you could help me navigate and find what I'm looking for because you've got a lot of a lot of nice uh, uh, items for sale, and I'm looking for a surface bolt. Okay. To put on my my house doors. Um, my uh, my house doors are painted a when I built many years ago. They're like a dark brown, so I was looking for something like in a in a uh, maybe what antique bronze or just something kind of brownish. But my my jams are a little uh, mm, little unique. But I guess I was looking for like a more of a, a bolt that wouldn't protrude off the door too far. So that way, um, what I what I did not want to do is to have to have a um, I guess I'll call it the bolt is the strike. The other piece on the jam, I'll call it the catch. I don't want to have that exposed. Oh. I want to take off my casing and put something under my casing if I could, and then put my door trim back on. And my my doors had to be when I built everything had to be shimmed out years past. So my um, the, the casing at the top and around the sides is a little thicker than normal. But I was trying to hide that that. Uh, a strike, if you will, that goes on to the uh, uh, above the door, hide it and put it under my casing, screw it to the um, two by sixes that are above the door, the the rough end, and then put my casing back on. The door swing out. Like, so, uh, they swing into the house. So into the house, a... and I'll put these inside. Are they uh, right on the inside, the pull side of the doors? So since the strike uh, since the surface bolt will be mounted to the face of the door how okay. will you conceal that strike well uh looking at some of your options there i thought well um yeah my like i say my um i've got some room at the top maybe three eighths of an inch or so before my casing goes on so i thought i'd take off my ranch casing notch out whatever i would have to do on that material that's under there, and then mount that uh, steel strike under that, and then put my door casing back on. So actually, when you looked at the top of the door, the bolt would be going up into the casing, but I, it wouldn't be on the outside of the casing. It'd be more um, in that dimension of of, of uh, how my casing was built out. It would be kind of hidden. You wouldn't even see the strike. Yeah, you want to run your casing all the way across the header uh, after you have mortised and installed your strike. The problem with that right. Um, right. is that I think it's going to be um, impossible to find a bolt and its strike that will not exceed that dimension in terms of projection. Um, mm, okay. you know, they, they, they do have modern-style surface bolts, which are quite petite, but that strike is still going to exceed 3 8 Mm-hmm. Is there something online that would get me close and I would I'd order one from you, try it, and worst case I would put it you just put it down going into the floor then or something. Um you know, and if I can't make it work at the top. Sure. Um, um like I say, you got a lot of product on your on your website and I I'm turning pages, turning pages, turning pages, and I thought, well, I'll just call the people who know and maybe yeah, you can yeah. walk me through it or get me to something. Yeah, so like how say, my tall doors are your doors? Uh, just normal steel house doors. I mean, um, you know, the front door is like 36 wide and probably what, what is the normal height? Six foot? Six, eight something? Yeah, yeah, six foot eight actually. So here would be a, a part number if I may give it to you. Wonderful, thank you. One, one, zero, six, six B. B as in Bravo. Okay. And that will return a page that has maybe 10 versions on it. It's the same bolt, just different colors. When you click on any of them, you'll be able to see a little closer, but then there's a product page um, that you'll be able to see um, that will give you a better idea of what they are. Okay. I, I noticed you know, a lot of them are here, antique brass, satin brass, polished brass, but when I click on it, it looks like they're all the same color. Yeah, that stock image from the manufacturer is just a generic. It's the code okay. at the end of it. So, like I say, click on any of them. It doesn't matter. Right. Um, okay. I guess so. For my brown well, door, what would you recommend? Antique 
what would you recommend on a brown door? Yeah, so going back I mean, to the finish. Wanna... So yeah. on that page where you entered 11066B, third from yes. the bottom is oil rubbed bronze. There it is. Okay. Click on buy now on the right hand side. Buy now. Availability. Hold on. Okay. So you've you've loaded the next page? Well, I don't see where the buy now. Uh, order options, add to cart, availability. Okay. Uh, that's fine. The, the page you're on is fine. Do you see below okay. that the map of the United States? Yes. Click product page about two inches below that. Uh, okay. And then the upper right-hand corner of that page will give you an idea of the 11066. There we go. All right. All right. That's what I was... That's what I was looking for the other night, and I'm like, okay, it's midnight. Got to go to bed. <laughs> so I will. Uh, I'll look at this further, and then yeah, I'll probably just, like I say, I'll try one of those if I can't. Um, I'm kind of a MacGyver kind of guy, but if I can't, you know, you want it to look nice, but uh, if I can't make it work right, I'll I'll put it into the floor, uh, and, and use one of the plates or come up with something or make my own strike plate uh, or mortise plate. But uh, okay. This gets me a lot closer. And a lot of this stuff you probably, I'm sure, you've got in stock or you can pull it from somewhere. Yes to both questions. Okay, great. All right. All so right, what's, Richard. Uh, what's the uh, – so, the, by the way, the code that you want for finish is 10B. So when you go back to that summary page, you want 10B, 10B. What's the best MacGyver project that you've worked on? Tell me something that will, you know, Well, I do a little bit of everything. Fives. I do I do CNC work, laser work. I actually ah. fix appliances. Uh, been fixing Whirlpool appliances for 50 years, um, and just over the years, you just learn to. It's not rigged. It's let's just do it right the first time. But okay, if you got to make it, if you got to machine it, I got guys that do machining, welding, um, lathe work. But uh, myself, yeah, just to, you know, God's given me a lot of knowledge of <laughs> kind of how to come up with things. And uh, okay, uh, I've made my strike plates for. My outdoor buildings and stuff, because the um, you go to the store, you look online, you can't find something. Okay, let's just make it and uh, and uh, engineer it, and let's keep going. So, um, so this will help me a lot, though. But uh, yeah, I do lasering, uh, CNC engraving, stuff like that. Plus, plus fixing whirlpool appliances, Maytag, Speed Queen, Amana, all that kind of stuff. So, if I could go back in time, I would become a CNC programmer. I mean. Those Wait. guys are in such demand. It's it has been for they have been for decades, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just it, it's taken off, and, and, I, and I'm just I've just scratched the surface. I'm just doing. I do plaques and I do images, and I, I have had people approach me. Can you make this? Can yep. you make this sign for me with ten inch high letters and put it on a chunk of oak? It's like okay, I've never done this, but okay, researched it, find out what's the best type of wood for outdoor. Cut out the letters prime painted put it on a big chunk of oak they mounted up on a church building looks wonderful so it's yeah. kind of a onesie thing that you've never done before and there's no instructions but you just you, your mind just kind of mechanically figures out what to do and talk to other people take recommendations and then kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together and make it work yeah and and kind welding of. is you know i um, early, very early in my career, I um, couldn't get production through the shop fast enough, so I re-enrolled uh -huh. in community college and took a welding class, and it was really great because I didn't care about the grade, I didn't care about the stress of doing well, even though I did quite well. I remember with that breakthrough with oxyacetylene, one of my two hand, my two arms would get it, um, you know, um, and it's very liberating to possess a skill um, that will allow you to solve problems. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. that's awesome. It is it is Good great. For you. I mean, yes, yeah. Okay, there's, there's well, a lot of you, uh huh. Yeah, you, you know where the surface bolt is. Um, that's the narrow. That's the the least projection. As you scroll through that product page, there are more options there. There they change in terms of the size, but mostly the projection. Now you know what. Uh, is there something? I just have yeah, th when you say projection, that's that's the flattest that would hug the door the closest. Yeah, right. You know, I just gotcha. had a thought. Um, okay. What if you were to take a bolt, since you're going to mount something? Well, first of all, why don't you use a flush bolt so that you mortise it in the edge of the door? Okay. 
Oh, it's a steel door. It, it, uh, it's a steel door you have. So, um, yes. is it a steel edge door or is it a wood edge door? Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's wood, but it, the whole door is encased in that the steel. It's got leaded glass in the center and things yeah, like that. Yeah, it's metal clad. Metal clad, so right? So, you may be able to make yourself. Uh, you may be able to get yourself a flush bolt that you can mortise to the edge of the door so it's all concealed. Um, so there's, so you see nothing. So if you've got a wood edge door, you may be able to make a flush bolt work. And um, on that, but is flush bolt? Does that come on the on the jam of the door? Uh, well, the bolt would be mortised to the uh, edge of the door and a little bit to the top of the door, and then you would okay. drill a hole into the frame, into the area of the frame that we call the rabbit, and when the door is closed, you would never see evidence of that hardware at all. Oh, huh. okay. So that part number is 11010. Okay. And if if you want to go even easier, it's eleven o eleven. Okay. So that's simple work with a router. Um, okay. So that may uh, that might you know you want to you want to hide that strike you want to you want to make the casing hide the strike. Great. Why don't we hold? Why don't we hide all of the hardware? So that flush okay. bolt might might be the answer. Oh, you know what? One more part too. number if you'll suffer it. Eleven o one four. That okay. might be even better. So okay. 10, 11, and 14 are the last two digits. 10, 11, and 14. There we are. All right. I'll uh, I'll uh, look at your site, look at those products, and see if I can make those. Uh, if they'll be a candidate for what I'm trying to trying to do. Yes, sir. I look forward All to right. your success, and thank you for the conversation. Thank you, Richard. Where are you located, Richard? Southern Florida. I'm in Naples. Southern. Wow. What's the weather this morning? Uh, I usually like to know where people are calling from before I brag how amazing Southern Florida is in terms of the weather all the time. Um, I'm, I'm it, southern tip of Lake Michigan, about 60 miles east of Chicago, Michigan City, yeah. Indiana, up by New Buffalo, Michigan. Yeah, my uh, I grew up in Chicago, and I've got close friends that just remodeled a house in New Buffalo, so they you know they go oh. there for the weekends, obviously. Um, so they passed right right through our town, sure. Right, right. Past. yeah. I mean, you hit the casino, start looking for the exit <laughs> to the right, and then you're. Um, I uh, yeah, Southern Florida is amazing. Um, you know, I know the area that you are in; it's very uh, peaceful, um, but you do get a touch of snow every once in a while, and that doesn't happen here. Not, not yet. Yeah. Although you don't get hurricanes. No, no, but we we do get the snow. I've, uh, I, I, I'm the one that usually jumps on the on the snowplow and plows all the parking lots on and the, around the two or three homes that are here. So yes, we get uh, we'll get our share of snow, but you can keep the hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, that's a major drag. Sorry. Um, yeah, those yeah. are that's an inconvenience. That's got to be bad. When I see that on TV, I feel so sorry for the folks that yeah, just just well, my goodness, everything is just wiped away. Well, CNN really, I mean, uh, they all, the Weather Channel, let's just say the Weather Channel, they really, you know, make it seem like, you know, Godzilla has come out of the ocean. He's destroying <laughs> Tokyo. And it is awful uh -huh. and stuff. And um, and people obviously, you know, um, it, it's awful. It's just, it's they really make it seem a lot worse, I think, than it is in many places. And here where I am, I'm lucky in the sense that Naples is not a very old town. So I don't have, you know, most construction here um, is obviously rated for for the environment. Um, you don't sell a door down here, in fact, without it being, you know, windstorm rated. Um, oh, wow. So okay. It's, you know, the real drag is the power went out for nine days with Irma, and the water, you know, sanitation uh, system was contaminated. So all I wanted was hot coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, and I couldn't get that for like three weeks. Wow. So, wow. You know, yeah, I can make my own coffee. I can do all that. I just, you know, you know, you want to go through the drive-thru. You want to say, I need a large black coffee, and you just wanted to hand it to you. <laughs> That's right. Those conveniences we missed, you know, we get spoiled. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah. More, I grew up in five of the first, uh, five of the, uh, four of the five worst snowstorms in the history of Chicago, and I can tell you none of it, none of those um, came close to a hurricane. My inconvenience with the last one when we were up there, I forget what year it was, I couldn't get. I couldn't get out of my driveway because I, you know, <laughs> even my four-wheel sure. drive car wouldn't wouldn't get me out. So, sure, sure. 
Yeah, well, I, I sympathize yeah with anybody that's yeah going through a hurricane. That that's just yeah, that's just horrible. But all right, Richard. Well, it's been a, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I appreciate your knowledge about this subject with the strikes, and I'll get back online and get a look and see if I can make this work for me. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Richard. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.
Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.